Hi, my name is Amin Shaheed. And my name is Zakia Latif. And we've been foster parents for over 30 years. And we're here to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. The requirements is having the love in your heart and a little extra home room in your home. First thing you want to do if you are interested is give a call to 1-800-665-KIDS. They'll be happy to walk you through the steps. Just know that you'll have support all along the way. If you are a parent or if you're not married or single, it does not matter. But if you have the love and the desire in your home to give to and nurture other children, then you do have the requirements. The process is not that lengthy. It does depend on your diligence and how quickly you respond to the information provided. Um, it can take you know, a short period of time, but mostly it depends on how quickly you do the things that are required. Okay, so the most important thing is that they want to identify who you are as a person. A small application, you get training and nurturing along the way, um, fill out a small amount of paperwork, your home is inspected just to make sure it's safe, and then you're on your way, waiting for your beautiful son or daughter. There's plenty of support. Um, you can reach out to other families that you may have seen or know. Also, you get support from within the county. They offer classes, training, and also a wonderful um, unit of support for questions and concerns. The age for fostering is 0 to 18, but I would suggest you do what is comfortable to you. But once you get into foster care, if you say, oh, I only take babies, you'll quickly discover that your ranges will vary and increase. There is a standard rate as well as a rate for the level of care that you do provide for the children. Some children do come with a little more needs than others. Also, as foster parents, it's our responsibility to enrich the children's life through sports activities, soccer, um, gymnastics, and things of that nature. So it also depends on the level of care that you provide. The reason the children do end up in foster care it's not always bad, and these are not always what some might consider our broken children. Children come into foster care for many, many, many different reasons. Sometimes it's through alcohol or drug abuse of the parents. Sometimes it's the loss of parents, um, mental illness. So our children come from many different circumstances. Okay, so it really varies. Sometimes that process can be very quick and within 24 to 72 hours, they may find a family member that can care for the child. Sometimes our children need longer care. They may need a longer time to identify more permanent environments for the child. It can be two, three to six months. Sometimes we have these children in our homes for you know maybe a couple of months, two, three months. And our children begin to bond to them. All of a sudden, they're gonna leave. And you say, Dad, don't you miss them? Don't you miss them? I said, there's time for them to go home. Yes, I miss them in one way, but I'm glad they're going home to their parents. When my children leave my home, I always let them know you'll always be thought of. And you know, it was such a wonderful thing having you here and caring for you. And I give that child permission to let us go if they're older and walk into the new home. But I always let them know they'll be thought of and you know loved and remembered. For me personally, my biological children have learned uh, to be more caring, more giving, more loving, and children are so resilient. They accept the children that come into the home and uh, just to see that acceptance in your own child, you'll be surprised. Uh, it's like, how would your children be affected if they met a new friend and that's the same way they're affected when you bring in a new child to the home. Um, the way your life would change if you became a foster parent is all for the good. When another child comes in the home 
then all of a sudden you see, oh, there's more love here. It's very warning for me as a, a dad or a man or a husband because it sparked new life within me. It's a wonderful experience and it comes with its own set of challenges and you enjoy every step along the way, good or bad or indifferent, it's a wonderful experience.